Hello, Georgina here. In our Lenormand journey so far, we've made our own Lenormand deck, practiced reading Lenormand cards in pairs, learned the line of five spread and the three by three box spread, and explored advanced reading techniques like mirroring and knighting. But before we move on to tackle the Lenormand Grand Tableau spread, I have one more spread to share with you plus some guidance on how to use the playing card correspondences of the Lenormand cards to add depth to your readings. Today, I'm using the New York Lenormand, which has larger than average playing card inserts. This deck is a recreation of the Mystic Cards of Fortune, first published in New York in 1882. More details about this deck can be found down in the video description. The Lenormand Grand Cross Spread consists of 10 cards with four arms that I've marked out with cards from the Deck of a Thousand Spreads. We have Past, Action, What to Avoid, and The Outcome. I've already shuffled and dealt out the cards, so let's jump right in. The Past consists of cards one through three, forming a short line on the left. Here we have key, letter, and clouds. And note in this deck, the dark side of the clouds is on the right. The usual rules of Lenormand apply. We read from left to right, with each card providing more information about the card or cards that came before it. So this trio answers about an important issue, key, in the form of official correspondence letter, but the quality of this information is murky or unclear. And since the illustration of the clouds in this particular deck go from light to dark, this murkiness is particularly challenging. I would take this as a pretty dire omen if the querent was seeking clear, definitive answers. So let's apply the playing card insets for more depth. Eight of diamonds is key, and the suit of diamonds signifies sudden and often unexpected changes. Letter is the seven of spades. The suit of spades indicates material comfort and security, a life of wealth and privilege. And clouds is the king of clubs. Clubs is the suit of struggle and strife. Taken together, I read this as a dramatic change of status for someone who, up till now, has had a pretty good life. And since the King of Clubs is a court card, we could interpret it as signifying the person who has suddenly brought strife into the life of the querent. Action. Cards four and five are placed in a short column at the top of the spread. Card four goes above card five. This pair suggests what to do in the present, the best course of action that the querent can take to improve their circumstances. What positive action does the Lenormand suggest? Well, here we have birds and moon. Remember the other rule of Lenormand, Cards above influence cards below. So the cards say that there should be a lot of discussion and chatter, birds, about the actions and reputation of the querent, moon, or perhaps the person causing the querent struggle and strife, which may be this king of clubs guy. Looking at the suits of the cards so far, note that this is the second arm of the grand cross that starts with the suit of diamonds. Birds are the seven of diamonds. This suggests that a lot of drama and sudden change in the discourse. But the cards say that this is exactly what our querent should be doing, getting their message out there, drawing attention to their troubles and that troublemaker. What to avoid. Cards six and seven make a short column at the bottom of the spread. And note, card six goes below card seven. These cards warn the querent what they should not do, what to avoid. The cards here are ring 
and stars. Although in this deck there is just the one star. That is contractually binding agreements, ring, and lofty goals and ambition, star. Although these two positions are placed from bottom to top, we must apply the directional rules of Lenormand to read the pair correctly. The stars card shines down and affects the ring card below it. So this card combination warns that although the querent may possess high or even optimistic goals, they should be wary of joining into contractually binding agreements. Stars over ring. Additionally, I would tell the querent to consider a secondary meaning of the ring. Things that go round and round without a resolution. Vicious cycles. I fear that our querent is being pressured into an unfavorable compromise by that king of clubs. Dark side of the clouds hovers above star. Now we'll move on to the outcome. Outcome are cards 8 through 10. They create a short row on the right. This trio of cards indicate the most likely outcome to the querent's question or situation. The cards here are heart, snake, and book. That's strong feelings about matters close to home, heart, danger, snake, and secret knowledge, book. Oh my! This reading really does end on a dramatic note. My interpretation is that the danger to the querent can be managed, provided that they are, one, able to act on private or secret intel, and two, be able to keep this private or secret knowledge away from their rival. Snake can indicate a rival. Either way, the querent can expect that the outcome of this situation will be a very personal battle heart, and that official communications regarding their rival will be of the utmost importance. And I get that because key mirrors book and letter mirrors snake. In examining the suits of the playing cards, note that there is a cluster of hearts, the gentle suit, in the center of the spread, moon, heart, stars. But at three of the outermost arms of the spread, we have those diamonds, key, birds, and book. So emotions run very high regarding the querent situation, and a huge, sudden change is coming. The majority of your Lenormand interpretations will be based on the meaning of the individual Lenormand cards and strict adherence to the directions that they are read, left to right, top over bottom, etc. But knowing the influence of the various suits adds depth to those interpretations. And if one suit is prominent, it's a quick way to assess the general mood of the entire reading. So let's recap the meaning of each playing card suit in Lenormand. Spades contain the cards that indicate material comfort and or security. For example, a lily, bouquet, ship, anchor, garden, and tower. An overabundance of spades in a spread indicates rewards and stability, a life of wealth and privilege good times. In contrast, clubs contain very challenging cards. You saw it in today's reading with clouds and snake. But there's also fox, mountain, mice, and cross. These are cards that bring uncertainty, danger, lies, enemy, theft, loads of stress. Nobody wants these cards to appear in their reading. Hearts are the cards that deal with what we care about, like our home, 
our wishes and dreams, and our friends and family. For example, in today's reading, we had house, dog, pardon me, we had moon, heart, and stars. But you can see it in these other cards, such as house, dog, and rider. These cards exude warmth and kindness. These are the cozy cards. Lastly, there's diamonds. Ooh, these cards have an intense energy. Sometimes it's positive energy, such as sun or fish, but sometimes it's dangerous, like scythe. Whenever these cards appear in a spread, woo, they scream plot twist, and you can expect that there will be an abrupt change in the status quo. Now, you may have noticed that the Lenormand Grand Cross spread has a past, present, future feel to it. There's the past on the left, the present, what to do and what not to do in the present, and over here, what is likely to happen in the future. It's a very good tool for developing your Norman skills before you plunge into the grand tableau, so keep practicing. Past, present, future, they're great ways to practice your skills. If you've enjoyed this video or learned something new, give it a like. It helps out the channel and it lets me know that you are interested in seeing more content about Lenormand cards. If this is your first time here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. And when you do, click the bell icon and set the notifications to all. Until next time, remember, the magic is not in the cards. The magic is in you. So be good, be kind, and as always, be awesome.